Hey, everybody. It's the last week of classes. I know, that was kind of lame. But hey, we only have one more week of class, one more week together. And this week, you don't have any readings to do. You finished up the last chapter dealing with law and regulations and ethics, which are critical topics for us to discuss in media management because if you mess up these, it doesn't matter what you've done with your staffing plan. It doesn't matter what kind of leadership you have. It doesn't matter how you motivate your employees or what marketing research you've done. If you break the law, you're out of business. If you break your ethical code, you lose credibility and you lose the trust of your, your, uh, your customers. So those are critical things for us to discuss, critical things for us to remember. Um, a couple of people said we should have discussed this earlier in the semester. I think the reason the book saves it till the end is because it's wanting to culminate to that point and really give that a point of emphasis. So um, uh, several of you talked about you got a lot out of that chapter. You really enjoyed those uh, the chapter dealing with case law or case, the, excuse me, you really enjoyed the chapter dealing with law and regulations and ethics, and I'm glad. So keep those things in mind, okay? But you're done with your readings. You're done with your chapter summaries and your case studies, and this week... You don't have anything like that to do. What I want you doing this week, and this is, our again, our final week, April 29th through May 3rd, focus on your final projects. So for everybody, everybody in the class, you need to do the final project, which is the managerial grid. I use this Blake and Mouton managerial grid as part of my dissertation. Um, I think it's very useful. It really helps us to reflect on who we are as leaders and who we are as managers. Uh, whether we're going to be relationship-based or task-based, and in what instances that would be the best for us. So here's what I want you to do. On Blackboard, you have the managerial grid, and there's a matrix, and there will be a chart to, to draw. If you're really good at Word, then go ahead and draw the chart and mark where you are on there. If you're not so good or you just don't want to mess with it on Word, that's fine. Print it out, take a pen, take a ruler, and do the graph that way. Um, and that, so then you've, you've taken the test, you've, you've graphed it, you've done all that stuff. And I say the test is a survey, it's not a test. There is no right or wrong answer to this, okay? But do that part of it. Step two, then tell me what you've learned about yourself. Who are you as a manager? Were you surprised by the results? Is it kind of what you thought you would come up against? Um, or the, that you would result, the results would come out like you thought they would? Um, so tell me that part of it, okay? This is a page and a half to two pages. I want a page and a half to two pages, self-reflection, who you are as a manager, what this means to you, how you're going to react in certain situations. Thinking back on what we learned about uh, leadership and motivation in the first couple of weeks of the semester, and then apply it to this. Page and a half to two pages, one inch margins, 12 inch uh, times New Roman. Okay, that's for everybody. For the grad students, you should be with your groups working on putting together your final business plan. And for your final business plan, you're pulling all the components together. The mission statement, the market analysis, the staffing and the financial plan, the prototype. Take the comments that I've given you, clean those things up, put it all together into one business plan, and then you'll submit that to me. Okay? Your business plan is due. The final project is due Wednesday, May 8th by 5 p.m. The managerial grid also is due by Wednesday, May 8th at 5 p.m. So you have all next week to be working on that, and then you have all the way up till Wednesday, May 8th at 5 p.m. to be working on that to wrap that up. So this will be our class class video. I've enjoyed having you all in class. Um, I really love teaching this class. This is an area of interest of mine, and having professionals who are working in the field along with students who are uh, undergraduate students who are working toward being in that field really makes for a really cool dynamic in this class. We get a lot of nice perspectives, and uh, you guys have not disappointed. So thank you very much, and if I can do anything for you, please let me know. Take care.